In this lecture Professor A.K. Enamel Hark, explains why market equilibrium price goes up and down. So I'm going into a different uh, market now. And I'm saying, uh, OK, this is the market. This was the demand. This was the supply. Standard uh, demand scenario. So this is my supply. This is my demand. This is my quantity. And this is my price. This is my equilibrium. Now, uh, Today, we understand that ETH is coming, right? So what will ETH will do? They'll, they will increase the demand for cows. So I'm just giving you the logic for the moment, just one for the moment. So demand for cows have increased. And what you expect in the market? The market equilibrium price. You expect the price increase. Price increase. Price, price increase. So we're we we telling you that the very simple logic in economics that as demand for a product increases, equilibrium point will also move from this point E0 to E1. So this is what you should expect. But on the other hand, there may be a supply increase possible. Possible. So, possible yes, sir. Because people, people are also ready to supply for the ETH. And if this happens, the price, we don't know what will happen, but the price may will shift back. So if there's a supply increase, price will shift back to this point. So I'm just making it as same price so that I don't have to draw, deal with so many cards. But doesn't have to be same price. Okay, this will reduce our complication. So it may happen that if the increase in demand and increase in supply matches, then there will be no change in price. So now we realize that the logic should be clear in our mind that during this season, which is the Kurbani season, the increase in price of the cow is expected if there is no increase in supply. On the other hand, there is an increase in demand, and if the demand increase and supply increase matches, there will be no change in price. On the other hand, if the demand goes up more than the supply increase, price will move up because this will be the new equilibrium. So remember, the new equilibrium will shift to this point. If demand is, instead of D dash be D prime two dash. So in other words, equilibrium may be at a, this different point if the demand goes at a high. On the other hand, if the demand does not move, on the other hand, many people actually sell, want, come to sell more cows. And if that is already there, what do you expect? You expect the equilibrium. Remember, the this price is not, will be same. At, uh, if this price is will go down. Mm -hmm. Price will go down because if I can move to this point, mm -hmm. I'm giving you the logic that how we see the market. So when the price of a product in the market goes up, or price of a product in the market goes down, what is the reason? Is the interplay of demand and supply that there has been a shift in the demand, and the supply is supposed to shift, but somehow supply did not shift. If it does not happen, obviously market will move. So market movement, price changes in a market, economics theory would suggest that it is basically something happening in the market. Normally, if the market does not change, if this demand, all the red lines does not exist, you will stay here exactly at that point. So your equilibrium will never move if the market demand and supply never changes. So your price will remain exactly same if them or your price will be exactly the same if the demand and supply moves exactly at the same rate. But if there is a mismatch between shift in demand, shift in supply, then obviously price will either go up or price will go down. So it is possible that you see in a market price going down or price going up 
because because of relative changes in the demand and supply. So I'm just giving you the logic that when the price changes in the market, we should understand that the theory tells us that it has been happening because demand and supply is shifting and the shifting is not the same rate, which is we were at point A and I as a consumer, supplier, we thought that demand will increase to this much. So I supplied, so I was expecting this price. Remember what is happening? I was expecting a demand shift up to here. However, and the, because I was expecting this demand shift, so I was expecting a higher price. Remember what is happening? As a, as a market, I was thinking that, okay, uh, I was expecting this line. Remember, I was expecting this supply function. So I was shifting. I was, remember, I started working, not now. I started working, I started raising cattle because I was going to supply to this ETH market. So I was shifting this much. So everyone has shifted and this, this demand supply curves have shifted, but I was expecting the demand will also shift because there are more people become richer than last year. So last year it was the demand here, but now demand has moved up. So I was expecting a higher increase. And so I was expecting a new price, which is P3. So I was expecting this is my price. On the other hand, because of COVID, many people did not do the Kurbani. Their income has changed, right? And if they did not do the Kurbani, the demand has come back to here. What will happen now? I may see that the price did not move. So I was planning a shift in price. That's what I was investing. But if for some reason demand did not go up, as much as I expected, price will stay exactly in this diagram, price will stay exactly the same, which means there's always a, you know, this is almost like you are planning, you are, you are working into the future. So remember as a producer, you should understand that we are, we, we work on based on expectation. So we, we work based on expectation. So we, based on expectation, I was expecting this demand. That was my expectation. This was my expectation. I was expecting this demand function. But this demand function did not happen. Because of, and I was, when I was planning in January, I did not predict the scenario that we are in. So I was planning that this would be normal market and this will happen. I was planning this was my price of a cow. I was thinking of 60,000 taka. And I was planning that it will be 80,000 taka. So I invested based on 80,000 taka expectation because I was thinking demand will be higher, right? Economy has been moving up, 8% economic growth. So I started in January, nobody knew. So we planned that this will be the demand and I was planning an investment and I was saying, okay, I, I have 60,000 taka right now market price. By the time Kurbani comes, it will be 80,000 taka because demand will increase. And when I did it, I was in January. So I was planning in January. When the market happens, real life, the demand function, demand function is not in January. The demand function is in July. Whereas I was planning a supply and this is what happens. So because of this, what will happen? Prices will go back. Sometimes it may happen that instead of this, we were planning this much. So if that happens, obviously price will come back to here. So the, you depend with our, so it may happen here, depending on where the demand is. On the other hand, if the demand falls, I will come back to here. So I was planning a investment, 60,000 was my market price. It may happen, it is 40,000. And who has, why it has happened? Because of me, my fault? No, it is not my fault. It's the market that has shifted. So what we should understand is that demand function, and that's the point that I was trying to mention, that demand function move up and down because of many factors. And one of the factor is income. So, and when I was planning, I had some expectation. When the real market came, the expectation completely changed. And when it has changed, I realized that, sorry, I was planning that I would stay in this point. This, this was my point B, it was my expected point. 
but I ended up at point C. So I was planning at B. I was expecting the prices will go to 80,000, but I ended up in point D, price is 40,000. And that is why now you realize what I'm basically saying that a producer should have a planning because your planning period and your selling period are unfortunately not same. You plan early. You plan, you plan in this case in January. Your market is in July. So you actually decides for the future. And when you are planning that I'm going to eventually I'm going to sell in July. And July may not be and also you need to have some exercise and some knowledge that okay, should do I need a prediction on my product only, but should I also need a prediction on the economy? How the economy will go in July. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.